Welcome to my channel. This problem is a great example of how math can be both challenging and beautiful. So, if you are ready to level up your math skills and learn something new, keep watching. We are dealing with a complex expression that square root of 33 raised to power of 4 plus 300 raised to power of 4 plus 333 raised to power of 4 upon 22 raised to power of 4 plus 200 raised to power of 4 plus 222 raised to power of 4. So, it involves a fourth power. But don't worry, we can break it down together. First, observe the numerator. This observe this pattern. We have 33 raised to the power of 4. For this 33, we can write this as 3 times 11 raised to the power of 4. And similarly, this 300 also we can write it as 3 times 100 raised to the power of 4. This 333 raised to the power of 4, we can write it as 3 times 111 raised to the power of 4. All the terms, it is in the form of A times B raised to the power of M. We can write this as A power M times B power M. So, this first 3 times 11 raised to the power of 4, we can write it as 3 raised to the power of 4 times 11 raised to the power of 4. And the second term, 300 times 100 raised to the power of 4, we can write it as 3 raised to the power of 4 times 100 raised to the power of 4. And the last term, 3 times 111 raised to the power of 4, we can write it as 3 raised to the power of 4 times 111 raised to the power of 4. Here, 3 raised to the power of 4 and here, 3 raised to the power of 4 and here, 3 raised to the power of 4, common. By factoring out the common factors, you will get 3 raised to the power of 4. Then we have 11 raised to the power of 4 plus 100 raised to the power of 4 plus 111 raised to the power of 4. This is your numerator, isn't it? So this numerator we can write it as 3 raised to the power of 4, 11 raised to the power of 4 plus 100, 100 raised to the power of 4 plus 111 raised to the power of 4. Upon now observe the denominator 22 raised to the power of 4. We can write this as 2 times 11 raised to the power of 4. It is in the form of a b raised to the power of m. We can write this as a power m times b power m. So this we can write it as 2 raised to the power of 4 times 11 raised to the power of 4. Now take the second term 200 raised to the power of 4. We can write this as 2 times 100 raised to the power of 4. This we can write it as 2 raised to the power of 4 times 100 raised to the power of 4. Similarly, the last term 222 raised to the power of 4, we can write it as 2 times 111 raised to the power of 4. It is equal to 2 raised to the power of 4 times 111 raised to the power of 4. Here 2 raised to the power of 4, here 2 raised to the power of 4 and here 2 raised to the power of 4. So, by factoring out the common factors, 2 raised to the power of 4, take it as common, then you 11 raised to the power of 4 plus 100 raised to the power of 4 plus 111 raised to the power of 4. The numerator and denominator gets cancelled. Then you are left with square root of 3 raised to the power of 4 upon 2 raised to the power of 4. This one it is in the form of square root of a upon b. We can write this as square root of a upon square root of b. It is true for only non-negative real numbers. Here our numbers are 2 and 3 and 2 and 3 also non-negative real number. So we can apply this formula here. So this we can write it as square root of 3 raised to the power of 4 upon square root of 2 raised to the power of 4. So this 3 raised to the power of 4 we can write it as 3 square whole square upon square root of 2 raised to the power of 2 whole raised to the power of 2. Here 2 and here square root gets cancelled and here 2 and here square root gets cancelled. Then you are left with 3 square over 2 square. 3 square is nothing but 9 upon 2 square is nothing but 4. So the value is 2.25. Today we tackled a complex looking question with 4th powers. But we simplified it using our algebra skills. Remember no matter how tough a math problem seems, there always a way to break it down and make it more manageable. That's the power of math. It's all about finding creative solutions and simplifying the complex. If you like this content, please subscribe to my channel for more math lessons and problem solving strategies. 
Leave a comment with your favorable math topic and I will create a video on it.